去跟随规则的话呢，这样呢就会毁坏，你会毁坏完了的婚爱。We can give an example here now with this word. Why this verse, the other verse? That is, we should not avoid the food. He's saying that the highest type of worship is that of the Brajja Bhagavad Gita. Why? Why is that? 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 Why is 就是说，把所有规矩都放弃，只有一个规矩，那就是企业规矩。We see Krishna has a very, very strong headache. All his body is paining. He has so much pain. 那么 Krishna 有一次的就是他有很大，就是非常，呃，很激烈的头痛。Narada Muni is asking, how can we get you relief from this pain? 那么 Narada Muni 当时出现了，他就问了 Krishna， 他说怎么样能够呢，让你不要头痛呢？ He says, only with the dust of the feet of my devotees, if you bring this dust and I stir in my body, this pain will go away. 他说呢，如果说我奉献者的脚足下尘土啊，能够呢就擦在我头上的话呢，我这个头痛呢就会没有了。So in this way, he went and asked the queens of Dwarka, Rupi, Satyabhama, the queens. 那么所以呢，拉达穆尼啊就去问了多尔卡的那些王妃们。Could you please give me your dust of your feet? Krishna has very big pain in his body. 那么，那那穆里就跟王妃他们说，他说的，贵爽现在头痛哦，他需要那尘那个足下尘土，涂在他头上，所以他就不会头痛了。你能不能，你们能不能给我一些？ They became so angry. How dare you? This is offense. They almost like almost kick him out. Was so angry with that Muni. How dare you tell us to give our dust of our feet to the Lord, Supreme Lord Krishna? This is up or down? No, impossible. Then, 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 so they ask him, please, can you give the dust of your feet for Krishna? He has big headache, all his body, so much pain. Then, 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 do you want us to go to hell? We go to hell if we give the dust of our feet to, to the body of to the head of Jesus. Offense, we will go to hell. Not possible. Then those people will say, "You say what? Want to give our feet to the head of Jesus? Want to give us our feet to the head of Jesus? We want to give you. If you put the dust of your head on the head of Jesus, then we will go to hell. We will not go to hell. Sorry, this is impossible. So then the Lord goes to Braj. Then the Lord goes to Braj. Then the Lord goes to Braj. He meets the gopis. 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 He 所以他就跟他们说：“他说哦，请你们这样吧，帮帮帮忙吧，因为贝莎现在他头痛啊，非常痛的，他会发展高烧。他呢，就是说这种病啊，只有呢，就是他的奉献者的足下尘土才可以呢，就医治他这种病。他现在呢，痛的呢，一直在翻滚呢。所以你们可不可以给予 ？”And they said, "Yes, of course, immediately at once." And they start taking dust and putting in their feet immediately. And make it all the gopis taking and taking and taking, making one big mountain of dust of the feet of all the gopis. 那么那些牧牛姑娘一听到这个话，这啊牧牛，那那的牧牛说这话之后，他他们说当然可以了，为什么不可以？肯定可以。他们马上把很多尘土，就是说弄过来，然后呢擦在他们自己的脚上，然后堆成一个那个尘土山一样的，然后叫那那的牧牛说：“你拿过去，他给你的，为什么快点去擦？这样他会不会头痛？” So he said, but you're not afraid you go to hell? 
，然后奶奶在那边看到他们哇这么热心的一下子就给予了回付出啊，一下子付出，然后奶奶在梦里她说你们不害怕你们这样就会下地狱吗？ Said no, of course not. Hell for us is Christian suffering. This is hell for us. Then the police officer said, "They said, 'No, no, we are not afraid of hell. Hell, hell, is what? Hell means that if we are suffering, we are in hell. We are in hell. But if Krishna is happy, Krishna is happy. If we are going to hell, Krishna is happy. But if Krishna is happy, if we go to hell, no problem. If Krishna is happy, then this is our only business.'" 但是如果说非想要去开心的话，我们要去地狱，这也是没问题，我们会很开心。所以我们想要的就是非常快乐。So in this way, Nara, when he took this big mountain with all the dust, he brought back to Dwarka. 所以呢，非呃，拿到梦里就把这些就像小山丘一样的尘土啊，就呃，梦里姑娘逐渐的整个，他把它全部打包好了，就带回去，我让他进去。Because he's thinking, oh. The gopis are thinking, oh, if, if this dust is touching our feet, then it will touch Krishna, and then he will have contact with us through the dust. Because all their bug, all their moods, they were putting in this dust. So in this way, Narayana Muni took all that dust and gave it to Krishna, and Krishna was so happy, and he starts smelling every single, every single particle, all the dust he put into his body, and every time he would put one dust of one gopi, one dust of another gopi, one dust, he would feel all the love and all the moods of every single gopi. 那么所以 Krishna 就拿了在梦里把这些尘土啊给了 Krishna 之后 ，Krishna 非常开心了。他把这些梦里姑娘所有的尘土，每一个梦里姑娘的尘土，他都插在他自己身上，品味着他们对他的情感。然后呢，他呢没有错过任何一点点尘土，而且呢，他也品味着每个梦里姑娘的那些情感。And in this way. Krishna, all his pain went away completely. And he was crying and crying so much, so much, so much. So this is the Gopi Chandan that we use. From Dwarka. From the dust of the lotus feet of the Gopis and mixed with all the tears of Krishna. 也就是说，来自布拉贾的牧民姑娘那个脚下的尘土，然后呢，从多瓦拉卡那边过来，为什么？因为非常的养胃呀，哎，混合这些尘土，然后它变成我们现在插的圣女，叫做波比千尘。So now going back to the verse, it is said, Brahmya kachitu pasana praja baru bandera jagatita. The highest type of worship is that of the praja barus. Because they don't care to go to hell. As long as Krishna is happy, that is the highest type of worship, and they are happy. Why is it that some holy women, like Brahma Vatu, or holy women, they don't care to go to hell? It's because they don't care to go to hell. It's because they don't care to go to hell. It's because they don't care to go to hell. It's because they don't care to go to hell. It's because they don't care to go to hell. It's because they don't care to go to hell. So in this way, it is explained in Upanishadita that Niyamagraha, following so much rules and regulations, mechanically, without having any mood of bhakti in your heart to Krishna, without thinking what is the welfare of Krishna, without thinking what is pleasing for Krishna, this is not, this will destroy actually your bhakti. It says in Upanishadita, Rupa Goswami is explaining. 所以茉莉姑娘他们要的就是非常的快乐。那么就讲回要刚呃，就是那一首诗，呃，卢卡国说你所写的，就讲刚录第二首诗，就是太过机械的去跟随那些规则的话呢，那些规则我们跟随又没有情感，将去做奉爱的时候，只有规则没有情感做奉爱的话会怎么样？不仅仅没有奉爱，而且把我们奉爱都毁灭了。We should know why we're following anything is to 
increase our remembrance of Krishna, not to decrease it. 其实我们之所以啊跟随那些规则，就是为了增加我们的奉爱，而不是呢就是减减减少我们的奉爱。And whichever rule or regulation is not favorable for my development of my mood and my relationship that I want to for Krishna should be sent to one side. 如果任何任何那些哎规则或者是呃什么那些规矩。对于我来说，如果说对对我的对亏损的奉爱的情感有影响的话呢，我应该让把它放在一边。So in this way, Niyamagraha also following not following anything, any rule at all and regulation, and this is also not favorable for bhakti. 或者是完全忽视去跟随那些规则，这也是对奉爱呀啊不利的。And then. Janasanga, the the fifth thing that is not uh, that can destroy your bhakti is Janasanga. This is very important uh, point. So in this this verse, the main point is to mention the two words. Janasanga. Janasanga. It is explained in the Bhagavad Gita. Janasanga. 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 It is explained like uh, associating too much with materially very materialistic people. This can destroy your bhakti. 也加了三个，加了这个是人的三个的是两一样，也就是说啊、呃，如果说跟事实的人们多两一的话呢，会呢妨碍我们的奉爱。But actually, because I remember traveling with Guru Dev all over the world, and in every single country, in some tours, he would always speak Upanishadita. He would ask the sannyasis to speak on this Upanishadita. 那么其实通常来说，古典在呃世界呃游教的时候。他基本上在每个地方都会讲，他就是教导甘露，也就是最最教导甘露啊。然后呢，他呢也会教那些沙利亚师呀，起来呀，站起来这样说。And when the point of Jana Sangha came, he would always interrupt and himself comment on it. 那么有时候就是讲，当他们在讲的时候，古典教那些气节正在讲，讲到加拉桑达这一个话题的时候啊，这一点的时候，古典他自己就会给予评论。And he would say that Jana Sangha, he would interrupt the sannyasis. He would say himself. He would say Jana Sangha means to associate with people who are、uh, very much attached. To the opposite sex, this association will destroy your bhakti. 嗯，那么古古里天龙长那三两时间，七里正他们在讲的时候，他叫他们讲。当讲到这个点的时候呢，古里天就会中断他们，他就会插进他自己要说的话。那是什么？他就说，加那三个，也就表示说啊，异性之间的那种接触或者良缘过多的话呢，这些啊，也都是呢，会毁灭我们的婚爱。He would even say that if you associate with people who associate with people who are attracted to the opposite Oops. sex, you know, this will destroy your body. 那么甚至不要说那些直接跟就是直接被异性所吸引，男的被女的所吸吸引，或者女的被男的所吸引，或者他们有过多的良缘，会毁灭这些啊奉爱的。而且那一些呢，接近他们这些人的人呢，就跟他们有良缘的人呢，他们婚外也会受到毁灭。So in this way, very important point about Jana Sangha, Jana Sangha, Chaturya Cha, and、uh, having so much greed, <coughs> excess, excess of, ah,、uh, <coughs> mm, uh? correct, correct, correct. Correct, collecting greed means like this. Uh, there's another word is like, yeah, mundane greed. You know, you want more, more, more. So much over, over collecting, over desiring so many material things. This is destroy your bhakti. 那么其实另外一个呢，就是接下来刚才说到呢，就是说那个呃异性之间的那种良缘是会毁灭的哈。还有就是跟他们接近也会。那么接下来弟弟说的就是说一种。非常贪欲啊，想去呢，就是说拥有更多、更多和收集更多的时候呢，也是会毁灭你的婚爱。And in this way, this verse very beautifully described about the things that we should be careful not to destroy our bhakti. 
啊，这一首诗也就教导我们了，我们应该小心这些，这些也重点了、啊，这样我们呢，就是可以保护我们的父爱，否则的话呢，这些呢。Of course, we can go a little bit deeper in Rupa Goswami's teachings in this very important verse that Guru Dev, you know, he would always preach around the world about what is bhakti. 那么其实呢，也可以讲到这这首诗更深的哈，含义也就是第二种是在全世界在传播，也就是说想教大家什么叫真正叫做父爱。He would uh, quote the famous sloka Agamira Sita Shunyam. He would explain what is bhakti. He says you have to know what is bhakti. Ah, is everyone is going to know what is bhakti. He says you have to know what is bhakti. Ah, is everyone is going to so anyway, there's many different types of bhakti. No, it's in the Hongaian. So Rupa Goswami is explaining. All the different types of bhakti. No, Rupa Goswami has given many different, ah, many different types of bhakti. He is saying, like, what is jnana mishra bhakti, karma mishra bhakti, sangha siddha bhakti, arup siddha bhakti. All those types of bhakti that are not completely fully uttama bhakti. So he also mentioned that, that is, like, mixed with the bhakti, 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 mixed with the bhakti. 浅层行为，或者是说两仪当中所做的奉爱，这也都是最好的奉爱。So he's explaining, for example, the jnana mishra bhakti means bhakti which is mixed with jnana, with knowledge. 也就是 jnana bhakti, jnana mishra bhakti 就是表示呢，知识混合奉爱。Which is knowledge. Of the impersonal aspect of God. 也就是说呢，呃，主的至尊主的那无形相的那知识。This is not pure bhakti. 非人格的知识啊，所以这种奉爱呢，其实啊，不是呢，哎，纯粹奉爱。Or karma mishra bhakti is that bhakti which is mixed with the material desires. 那么，呃， karma mishra bhakti 也就是说，哎，这种奉爱呢，它很多有那些物质的欲望。We see that. Nowadays, there's so many religions around the world that they're doing bhakti. They're doing, you know, prayers. They're singing. They're doing kirtan. They're offering, are doing archana, offering candles, or they're even walking in pilgrimage. I've seen in in their knees sometimes. You know, doing so much tapas and so many limbs of bhakti. <laughs> like you know, not 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 by Hinduism, but Christian or many others. They're doing so many. They're also doing like you know offering like bhakti, but it is always mixed with material desires. So, in this world, you can see that many people are doing bhakti, just like doing bhakti, doing bhakti, doing bhakti. But some people are doing bhakti, just like doing bhakti, doing bhakti. But some people are doing bhakti, just like doing bhakti, doing bhakti. But some people are doing bhakti, just like doing bhakti, doing bhakti. But some people are doing bhakti, just like doing bhakti, doing bhakti. 还有呢，他们有有的神社还用自己的膝盖这样在找拜等等。还有呢，就是说供那些蜡烛啊这些东西。然后整个我们在圣地也看到了，就是有的人还装置了、顶拜的。可是他们这些呃崇拜呢，都是啊有物质的愿望。What time is the arati? No， 哎，中午的阿拉提是。Quarter to one maybe. Quarter to one. Yeah. What time do you do arati? 中午的中午的崇拜是几点？有晚点工作吗？有晚点工作吗？哦，这是晚点工作，也没得。这是他们的生活方式。他其实作为呃，就是说这中午这个阿拉提呢是最高的。这是拉达昆达，拉达昆达的下午时光。OK， no problem。OK， 没没关系。So then， 啊 ？OK， so we continue. So， karma mishra bhakti means。And yeah, like 
the different types of bhakti I'm describing, what bhakti, the not pure types of bhakti, like bhakti mixed with gyan, right? Then bhakti mixed with karnamisha bhakti, with material desires. We see so many people like they're doing, they're praying and everything, but they're praying, please, please, I want a wife, I want a husband, I want a job, I want money, I need, I need, you know, my house, please, please oh God. Whatever form they're praying, doing bhakti, but they're always asking for material things. So we this is not pure bhakti. This is wanting to steal Krishna's property and enjoy it for yourself. So in this way, karma misha bhakti means no material desires. So in I just I karma misha bhakti is so And then it's also one called Sangha Siddha Bhakti. This is a very important one. Sangha Siddha Bhakti. Sangha, Sangha Siddha Bhakti. Yes, it's one of the Which is described like the associates of Bhakti. For example, Sangha Siddha Bhakti. For example, truthfulness, cleanliness. Uh, humility. Humility. Uh, humility. Desire to live in a very secluded place alone. Forbearance. Forbearance means what? Okay, means it's okay. So all knowledge, all these all these things are actually they are not bhakti. We should know. This is not bhakti, but this is called Sangha Siddha Bhakti. They are associates of bhakti. But if a person is being humble, if he is being tolerant, he is being doing cleanliness, he is practicing brahmacharya, he is doing so much austerity, he is studying all the Vedas. He is uh, so much truthful. But if, but all these things, if he is not cultivating bhakti, this is nothing. It's zero. We see so much, so many times I've seen people that they're like, we have to follow the principle for and they're for this 10, 20, 30 years, but they're not cultivating any bhakti. So this is zero, it's nothing. This is not bhakti in itself. That's why it's called Sangha Siddha Bhakti, associates of bhakti. Sangha Siddha Bhakti is also so So if any person follows all these things, but is not cultivating bhakti, this is zero. 
。如果说一个人要是没有婚外的话，他跟谁说这些，他都是只有得到一个灵魂。It has no value. 也就是没有价值的。But if a person is following bhakti, the links of bhakti like shravanam, kirtanam, smaranam, for example. 如果要是一个人呢，他跟谁要婚外的那些啊婚外法的话，好像听啊、唱啊、讲或想等等。And they are cultivating this this uh, qualities. Then they can be accepted like associates of bhakti. But without the cultivation of bhakti, it has no value. We see so many Maya Vaidis, they're knowing all Shastra by heart. 我们看到很多的玛雅瓦底的那个主义者，他们呢就是说完全能够记住那些经典的。They are so humble, so tolerant. 他们非常容忍，而且很谦卑。Very strong brahmacharis in the mountain, living there in the cold, so much tapasya, all that they're doing. 非常好的遵守生，而且呢就是在那高山上非常冷的，而且呢就是在静思的把做的很苦行。Tapasya, no cloth in the winter. Snow up to here. 那么那血呢就下在头上了。But what is the use of all those qualities if you are not cultivating bhakti? 可是这个一个人要是没有培养奉爱的话，这些品质又有什么用 ？So this is called sangha sida bhakti. 这也就是三三大西大宝地的法门叫。And then comes arup sida bhakti. 那接下来就 arup sida bhakti， which is Guru, then we always give the example. It's like a rope, you know. It looks like a snake, but it's not a snake. It's a rope. It's like a play of words, no? A rope, see the one. Guru, then, also explains. Actually, this is a rope. See the one. The meaning is that. Aropsita bhakti is that bhakti which, for example, you are doing things and you're offering the results of your work to Krishna. 也就是一个人呢在做执行他的行为，然后他把结果呢供奉给主 Krishna. But Guru Dev used to say that, for example, oh, I'm going to have a garden. I'm going to plant a tree. I'm going to. You know, make a beautiful garden, and I'm going to pick all the flowers, and I'm going to take all the fruits, and then I'm going to offer them to Krishna. Now, Guru Dev, you often are talking about this one verse. He always gives the example. For example, if you have a garden, you will say, "Oh, I will plant a beautiful garden. This garden will produce many flowers. Then the 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 garden will I'm gonna make so much beautiful, nice prasadam every day. I'm gonna cook and then I'm gonna offer to deities. The Guru Dev said, "Don't do that." Then, or there's some people who say, "Ah, some people who say, 'I'm gonna make so much beautiful food, very nice food, and then I'm gonna offer it to Krishna.'" But Guru Dev said, "Don't do that." Don't have this mentality because then you always want to enjoy the results of your work. Don't do that. Don't have this mentality because then you always want to enjoy the results, the fruits of your offering. So, because of this, Guru Dev said, "If you have this mentality to do offering, then the result of the offering will be that you will enjoy the results, the fruits of your offering." He said, "You should offer your heart to Krishna. You should offer your whole self 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 to Krishna. You so in the same way, Aropsita Bhakti is that Bhakti that, for example, you're doing, for example, I like the soya that they have here, or <laughs> I like the noodles, you know? <laughs> or I like sometimes pizza or lasagna. pizza <laughs> So I say, oh, I'm going to cook this wonderful pizza for Krishna. Then they say, oh, I'm going to cook this wonderful pizza for Krishna. Then they say, oh, I'm going to cook this wonderful pizza for Krishna. Then they say, oh, I'm going to cook this wonderful pizza for Krishna. Then they say, oh, I'm going to cook this wonderful pizza for Krishna. Then they say, oh, I'm going to cook
，然后他还会煮那些拉萨米啊，就是很好吃的那菜，菜给你想吃。But this is not really for Krishna, it's for me. I like that, so I'm offering what I like, the fruits to Krishna. 其实他要去做的时候，是因为我自己很喜欢吃，所以我就去做这个东西，想吃。所以这个不是为了想而做，而是呢，我消耗我，我我可以吃，我可以荣耀。This is called Arupsi the Bhakti。这也就是 Arupsi the Bhakti， 以自己的欲望这样去做的东西。We're offering the fruits of our service too, but it's what we like really. It's not what he likes. Krishna likes pakoras and he likes, you know, juicy. <laughs> Fatty food with ghee, rasmalai, rasgula. So, Jesus Krishna, he found that he is. We, 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 we're going to describe the what is pure bhakti, uttama bhakti. So in this video, we're going to talk about the bhakti. And next, we're going to talk about the bhakti. This is the true bhakti. This is the true bhakti. He is Rupa Goswami. He's telling. Rupa Goswami, he's just saying. Actually, one time, five thousand years ago, in the forest. So, one time, five thousand years ago, in the forest. So, one time, five thousand years ago, in the forest. So, one time, five thousand years ago, in the forest. So, one time, five thousand years ago, in the forest. So, one time, five thousand years ago, in the forest. So, one time, five thousand years ago, in the forest. So, one time, five thousand years ago, in the forest. So, one time, five thousand years ago, in the forest. So, one time, five thousand years ago, in the forest. So, one time, five thousand years ago, in the forest. So, one time, five thousand years ago, in the forest. So, one time, five thousand years ago, in the forest. So, one time, five thousand years ago, in the forest. So, one time, five thousand years ago, in the forest. So, one time, five thousand years ago, in the forest. So, one time, five thousand years ago, in the forest. So, one time, five thousand years ago, in the forest. So, one time, five thousand years ago, in the forest. So, one time, five thousand years ago, in the forest. So, one time, five thousand years ago, in the forest. So, one time, five thousand years ago, in the forest. So, one time, five because now Kali Yuga is starting and in this age of Kali there's no good qualities, nobody, uh, men's lives are very short, people's intelligence is very less, they're very misguided, unfortunate, and quarrelsome, and overall they're always disturbed. <laughs> So he said, please, you are the oldest Vedantist alive. Because you have been blessed by the mercy of your spiritual teachers because you have served them so gently. You have got their mercy. You have, you know all the Vedas, and you have realized them. So please, the Vedas is so vast, and it has so many divisions, and in these divisions, more divisions. So it's so hard to know what is the essence of all. So we the teachings. So please tell us, because now Kali Yuga is going to start. And please, in a very simple, simple, easy way, so that we can understand, can you tell us what is what you have asserted to be the essence, the topmost supreme occupation for all humanity, so that we can fully satisfy our soul? So he answered, Sabai pun sam baro dan mo jatuh bakti ratok saya ahai tu kya perti hatta ya yat masupersita. The supreme occupation for all humanity is sabai pun sam baro dan mo supreme occupation is that by which. So he said, "So we are just human beings. We should do what? To be able to satisfy our soul. Then he said this song. He said, 'The most important thing is to do what we should do. The most important thing is to do what we should do. The most important thing is to do what we should do. The most important thing is to do what we should do. The most important thing is to do what we should do. The most important thing is to do what we should do. The most important thing is to do what we should do. The most important thing is to do what we should do. 
。那么说人呢要做的那个呃最最高的义务呢，就是表示说他们必须呢在心中来去发展对至尊主的那种宠爱。And this bhakti, it should be a high bhakti. It should have no cause, no material cause. 那么这种呃呃阿海布吉巴提耶，也就是完全没有物质的那些呃愿望或者欲望等等。And it should be continuous, continuous. 而且呢是没有原因的，而且要不断的。Ya yatma supersinasi to fully satisfy the self. 那这样的话呢，他们就能够呢完全的得到自我的呃满足，能够能够令自己非常的满足。Atma supersinasi to have happiness, to give happiness to the self, to the atma. 他们要是这样做的话，那就会令他们自己的阿特玛自我非常满意。But who did ever explain that that atma means super soul Krishna？ 那么不第二说，就是那阿特玛自我表示什么？就是至尊自我了，就是至尊主 Krishna。So by pleasing Krishna, automatically our self and every self around us will be pleased. 那么通过呢，企业基督徒会所呢，就是等于是我们自己，还有呢，所有在我们身上所有一切，包括我，所以所有都会很快乐。And this this、uh, this definition of bhakti is very what if Shrimad Bhagavatam very perfect and very wonderful. But Rupa Goswami he gave a better, a little bit better explanation. 那么结果教法堂所说的纯粹功德是非常高非常。非常漂亮啊，很完美啊！但是卢卡布索阿米在他写当中啊，就是这首诗节定对那个纯粹空爱定义，他也最加了一点。Which is the verse Anya Vilasita Sunya？ 也就是这首诗 Anya Vilasita Sunya。So the first line, he is describing what bhakti is not. 他就说 bhakti 是呃哪一类是不是 ？What bhakti is not means the 呃 tatasa lakshman the ex Extrinsic characteristics of bhakti. Tatasta. Tatasta means the assistant. Extra no extrinsic. Extrinsic characteristics. You know intrinsic, internal or external. External. 也就是那个奉爱的外在的增加，外在的那些啊，那个啊含量含成分。Means what bhakti is not. 如果它有外在含含成分的话呢，它就不是奉爱。So the first line it says Anya Vilasita Shunyan means the bhakti, Uttama bhakti, pure bhakti, is completely devoid of any desire. 也就是说，外在成分是什么？比如说欲望啊。那么这纯粹奉爱的话是完全没有欲望的。Shunyan means completely devoid of any desire other than the desire to give pleasure to God. 初年就大家都知道，这个是零的，也表示没有。那么也就是说，这种父爱呢，完全没有自我的那种任何欲望，他只有一个欲望，就是为了企业就是主推生。But it's not used the word Anya Vilasa. Anya Vilasa means desire. It says Anya Vilasita. 因为他没有用 Anya Vilasa. Anya Vilasa 这个是有欲望。Anya Vilasa Vilasita 这个是说。So this Sita. Is saying that some desire is accepted. Sita 就表示说，然后 Anya Vila Sita 呢就表示说，有的欲望要是说出出现的话呢，是可以接受的。So that desire is the desires in time of emergency. 那也就是就在特特特殊情况的紧急光头的时候呢，这些欲望是可以有的。For example, if I'm going in a car, I'm I'm going to have an accident. I say, Krishna, please save me. Help save me, Krishna. This moment, this emergency calling, Krishna, this desire is okay. 有时候好像就是说，弟弟说驾了一架一部车，正好呢，他就是会有那个就是交通意外事故啊。这样的时候呢，就是叫叫喊的 Krishna, Krishna, 快帮助我，帮助我。这个时候你有这种欲望的话呢，是可以的。But I think we stop now, and we continue after in the afternoon the 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 rest of Bhakti about what is Bhakti. 那么就是上午呢讲到这里，那下午呢就会再继续再讲了，什么是真正的那纯粹风爱。Hare Krishna。Oh, does anybody have a question? 看看大家有没有什么问题 ？Good, please know everything was clear. 没有问题，这个是大家都听清楚了。哈哈哈哈哈。Hare Krishna。Oh, it's so confusing that nobody understood anything. 
Hi, Sweet Lady, I don't know how to do it. I hope it's the first one. He said that he wants to be a teacher, so he's going to be a teacher. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare.